Yo, what's up guys? John Boogle here. Today we got the Craze Gross Redux Guide. This is probably going to be a shorter one compared to the rest because it is a very straightforward stage. All you really need is cat levels. That's pretty much it. Other than that, the important part is the lineup in this stage because that's the only thing you'll probably need to rely on. No strategy here other than cat spamming, maybe some timing if you are using like cat cannon chaining or something like that or sniper power up chaining but there's nothing too complicated like that in the stage unless you're like going in with level 20s or using the tanking strat which is in the old guide so yes this guide will not cover the tanking strat because uh, levels are way too low for that and you need higher levels for that strategy and if you don't have wave blockers or wave immune units etc you can use the old guide for that tanking strat but for this new one, we're going to focus on the offensive strat, the offensive stacking strat, which has pretty much been the mainstay strategy for beating Craze Gross since its initial release. And the main thing in this lineup is one central attacker, and in this lineup it's Harris or Dragon. If your Dragon is high enough level, you can rely on that solely, but I recommend bringing more. Once again, if you do have wave blockers, if you do have access to true forms, I don't really expect you to be watching this guide. Just get true form Octo and sweep the stage. If you don't have the luxury of wave blockers and you do have access to true forms, then I recommend using the old guide, which is a much more tanking strat, which involves using defense combos. But if you don't have true forms, you don't have wave immune units, you don't have wave resist units, you don't have wave block units, you have level 25 units this is the guide for you pretty niche but yes this is the one but yeah let's first get that out of the way i recommend a minimum of level 25 units for the stage and higher is much more recommended aim for the 30 mark for this stage because those waves can be brutal for low level cats because they can just get shredded and wiped off the field very easily if you do not stack up dps quickly enough that's why we're using the attack up combo, which is very important for this lineup. Now most of the lineup is filler. You can go in the stage by just spamming Paris Cat as your main attacker and maybe Dragon as a backup. Everything else is filler. Bahamut Cat is filler. Ring Girl is just an extra attacker. Everything else is just extra DPS. So if you feel you aren't killing the Craze Gross quick enough, start adding more general ranged attackers in your lineup. Stuff like Castaway, Ring Girl, Dragon, Drama Cats, etc. Pretty much the generic ranged attackers. Add those to your lineup and you're good to go. Now in this first example run, we're going to go with no power-ups. It is very risky in the beginning without power-ups because you have to manage your cash correctly. So don't just instantly start spamming all of your attackers. Wait, start building a nice foundation of cash first. Upgrade your wallet a few times so you are kind of in a safe spot to where you're not losing efficiency and what you can do here is up to your choice but I went for the Bahamut chip so what you want to do is basically cripple the first Craze Gross as much as you can and in this situation we just use Craze Bahamut to get that hidden then we just let the attackers finish up the rest. Now as far as this point onwards it's rough because if you don't stack up enough in time quickly enough you can easily just get pushed back behind the base, which is very, very troublesome with low level units. But like here, we were able to recover pretty quickly and we can start building up our stack here. Now, you cannot worry about this whole beginning portion by just equipping the Rich Cat power up and Sniper Cat power up, but it is very possible without them. As you can see here, all you need is just the help of some extra attackers. And remember, it's not like you need the exact same attackers or anything like that. Just make sure you have one central attacker and just fill in the rest with whatever you have. If you have Drama Cats, use that. If you have Crazy UFO, use that. Cameraman can work as well. It's just generic, ranged, spammable attackers. That's all you need for this level. If you do have the power of overpowered Ubers, such as Balrog, which can solo the stage even without true form very easily. There's also many other Ubers that can sweep the stage. 
like tanker type Ubers like Kai and such. All the Epic Fest Ubers, the Uberfest Ubers, the Wave Immune Ubers, everything like that will sweep the stage. If you only have access to like one or two ranged attackers, get them decently high leveled and just focus on them. That is another way you can beat the stage instead of bringing a bunch of decently leveled ones. You can bring like one or two really solidly leveled attackers. If you for some reason have a Bahamut, of course, you can solo the stage. I don't expect you to be watching this if you do have a Bahamut. If you don't have the access to attack combos, you can use the defense combo with this strategy as well, though it will be a little bit more rough. If you don't have any great ranged attackers, then going for good single target high damage dealing units works as well. Like dual dragons can probably kill this stage. It's also very important to not use units that will take too long in their attack animation because that allows Craze Gross to move up and get hits and that means waves. So units with quicker attack speeds is recommended and of course having more range helps tremendously. You can see in this situation with that long four swing with Ring Girl, Craze Gross is getting those waves in and getting multiple hits on our stack causing us to reset multiple times. But this is a specific situation where Ring Girl has lots of health, so Ring Girl can tank some waves and stay alive and hold ground, and not just completely sell for the rest of the team. It's also worth noting utilizing Cat Cannon in this stage is pretty important to use that delay or that knockback on Craze Gross to let your attackers get that extra wave of hits in before the Craze Gross does this wave, that will help out tremendously in the long run. Also, like I've mentioned time and time again, if you don't have access to all the fancy gacha units, you can get Crazed Bird or Crazy UFO. Crazy UFO can definitely sweep this stage with little effort. Now, you might need to use Rich Cat with Crazy UFO to get that nice spam going in the beginning because Crazy UFO's health is not too great. Trying to stack Crazy UFO without a max wallet is pretty difficult as well. So with Rich Cat, Crazy UFO is very effective. Even if you don't have the help of Paris or Ring Girl, Castaway, Drama Cats. Even with just Crazy UFO and Dragon Cat, you can go by and beat the stage pretty easily. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing really much else to explain. Pretty self-explanatory, just cat spam with the right cat combo and you win. Just make sure you got above level 25 units and you'll be set. But yeah, drop a like if this guide helped you out, subscribe if you're new, join the hashtag Boogle Gang. It's been John Boogle and see ya.